really excited. We have a special guest host tonight. I'll talk about it in just a second. But we uh, just to let you guys know, I, t I referenced it on Monday, but we're putting together a little competition. Uh, what that means is anyone that plays trivia has a chance to win. But if you do better in nights, you're going to get your name in the hat uh, more often. So so called name in the hat. Um, I'll explain that a little bit more. But um, what we have is some great prizes. So, for example, down here in Key West, we have a two night stay, sunset cruise for two, gift cards at local restaurants and some Key West items. So uh, we're going to have something similar up north in the northeast as well. But uh, I'll let you know more about that on both our YouTube channel and our Facebook page both are catch the mania so uh, make sure you check out those pages if you want to know more about that uh, please like our Facebook page and subscribe on YouTube uh, so you can see when we have new videos now it's my pleasure in just a moment to pass things over to Amber LeMay uh, she's a drag performer up in Burlington Vermont uh, but but as she'll tell you a little bit more about uh, where she's from she's got a uh, both a Facebook show and it's on youtube live at the same time it's called amber live it's every sunday this past sunday you had uh a couple of craigs on there craig mitchell who i know and another craig but i'll let you talk about that and your upcoming shows as well so um just before we do that just a couple of housekeeping things it is our episode number 23 i can't believe that but here we are in 23 um if you want to share a picture with us we'd love to see it uh, a lot of people have sent them in through our Facebook pages, especially. Um, that being said, if you want to play just with a pen and paper, uh, feel free. It's for fun. Uh, you can also use our Bitly link. That's an online scoring device. Uh, it's through Google Forms. Uh, what that does is allows you to be on our our Triv Track scoreboard as well. So, with that, I'm going to turn things over to Amber. Uh, she'll take the night tonight, and I'll be back at the end. But thanks so much, Amber, for being here. Oh, well, thank you, Darren. I'm so happy. This is my second time. Most guys don't have me back for two the second time, but Darren, he's a nice guy. And I like the No Beard book. It looks really good on you. No more Ernest Hemingway. It's, it's just Darren. That, that's great. I appreciate that. Hello there. I am Amber LeMay. I'm from the House of LeMay, and we're in the hot damn trailer park in Beaver Pond, Vermont. And if you're familiar with Vermont, we're way up there in the Northeast Queendom. Yes, but uh, we used to come down to Burlington to see Darren uh, when he hosted at Nectar's, and we're just um, uh, happy to see him be successful and that he still remembers us from Vermont. So thank you again very much, Darren. Happy to be here. So got your, um, are you all signed up on Bitly? Are you got your pens and pen? paper together ready to go you know what it's seven o'clock i think it's time for a cocktail how about you are you playing with a cocktail tonight it helps all right let's go on to round number one it's multiple miscellaneous Ooh, lots of good questions tonight so what high profile lawyer has defended oj simpson Patty Hearst and the boston strangler what a trio that is uh, a johnny cochran B, F. Lee Bailey. I wonder what the F stands for. C, Robert Kardashian. Or D, Robert Shapiro. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know for sure for that one. I've heard of all three of them, especially the Kardashians. You know, he's the father of those people. Um, um, so that's how they got famous. F. Lee Bailey. Hmm, is he still alive? Um, uh, but uh, no, I wonder what that F stands for. So, yeah, there we are. That's your first question. What high point for law what lawyer did that? All right. Speaking of Ernest Hemingway, who was the old fisherman in Ernest Hemingway's novel, The Old Man and the Sea? For all you literary, literate people out there, was it A, Santiago, B, Harcourt, C, Puente, and D, Guerna? Which one was The Old Man and the Sea? Hmm, what sounds like an old man's name? Santiago, Harcourt, Puente, Aguerna. Hmm, I have to think about that one. Oh, but we'll go to question number three. What city was captured during the Six Day War? Was it A, Caracas, B, Albuquerque, hmm, C, 
Jerusalem or D, Cairo? Well, I remember the Six Day War. I was just a young young girl at the time, watching it on the black and white TV at the trailer park. Um, let's see, Caracas, Albuquerque, Jerusalem, or Cairo? The Six Day War. Hmm. Anybody know their Middle East history? Oh, here's a good one. On April 18th and 19th, 2020. Oh my God, that was just last week or last month. We're, we're, geez. Yeah, just last week, um, Gabriel Wartman committed multiple shootings and set fires at several locations in what Canadian province? <sighs> A, Ontario, B, Nova Scotia, C, Quebec, or D, Saskatchewan? What are the people from Saskatchewan named? Are they Saskatchewanians, um, Saskatchewanese? Um, I've seen the list. The Quebecois, I know about them because they're just like 50, well, just over the border here from Beaver Pond, the Quebecois, uh, Nova Scotians, and then Ontarioites. Who was that? Where was that? What province did let that happen? Oh, who has not been a trainer on The Biggest Loser? You know, I believe it or not, I've never watched that show, so I don't know. A, Maria Sharapova, B, Kim Lyons, C, Bob Harper or D Jennifer Weidstrom. I have no idea about this one. So some of you who, who either wanted to watch that show for motivation, or maybe you watched it to laugh and point, which isn't very nice, you know, but um, maybe that's why you watched it or did, who did, who did not be a trainer? Who was not a trainer on that show? Ah. <sighs> Oh, here's another one. What country was not a site of a military conflict related to the Vietnam War? A, Laos, B, Vietnam, C, Thailand, or D, Cambodia? Now, if you visualize the world map, we're all right there together. So it's hard to believe that the war didn't bleed over in one of those countries, but nope, it didn't. They said, no, maybe they had a wall. Maybe they built a wall and wouldn't let people in. Hmm, maybe that's what it was. Was it Laos, Vietnam, Thailand, or Cambodia? Hmm, think about that for a while. Hmm, yeah, see them all together. Oh, what is the name of Johnny Quest's dog? A, Spot, B, Bandit, C, Buddy, or D, Petey. Now, as a young girl, I loved Johnny Quest. You know, it was only on for one year, from 19th, September of 64 to March of 65, only 24 episodes. And I really congratulate ABC for having the first gay couple on a cartoon show. Because you know Race Bannon and Dr. Quest, you know that they, they were a couple, don't you? Of course you do. And the voice of Johnny Quest was Tim Matheson. I just found that out. I do research, you know. I don't just take this lightly and come up here and look pretty and read. Tim Matheson was the voice of Johnny Quest. So who was the dog? Spot, Bandits, Petey, or Buddy? Whew. What Englishman discovered Manhattan Island in New York City in 1609? Discovered. Yeah, he was probably drunk and just ran his boat right up on the shore. Was it A, Hudson, B, Chrysler, C, Rockefeller, or D, Ellis? Hmm. Some interesting choices there. I'd like to hear some of your conversations about what you're having. Now, this is not a game of who can Google the fastest, all right? This is to challenge your mind, not your fingers. So talk to one another and see what you can figure out here. Hudson, Chrysler, Rockefeller, or Ellis? Hmm. Hmm. What man voted People's Magazine Sexiest Man Alive in 1991 passed away in 2009? Um, was it Michael Jackson? B, Heath Ledger, C, Patrick Swayze, or D, Kurt Cobain? Well, I'd narrow that down to two right away, because the others two that I don't think would be the sexiest man alive, if you know what I'm saying. So just think about the other ones. Oh, Patrick Swayze, that was so sad about, well, back, about all of them it's sad that they're no longer with us, because just think, they were young, at the, at what they would be doing now, how creative they would be. So was it Michael Jackson, Heath Ledger? Or the other two. <laughs> the first two pets in the U.S. tested positive for corona coronavirus were what type of animals? See, you got to keep up on current events. This isn't just what you learned in elementary school. This is current events. Was it dogs, 
B, parakeets, C, horses, or D, cats? Yes, it was found in some animals. Dogs, parakeets, horses, or cats? I hope it just stays with one, um, but uh, who knows? I think I'll have another drink. <laughs> Talking about that coronavirus. Well, that was round. That was the end of round number one. That was. Those were some hard questions. I hope you did good. So, give you time to talk amongst your team there and to see. Okay, did you remember what was question number six? What? Well, see, I when I'm with my team, we never write down the question and say, "Oh, we didn't get number six, and we can't remember what it was." So uh, maybe we shouldn't drink as much. <laughs> So yeah, you can either do it on paper, or you can write down your you and write down your answers, or write. It's more fun to get on the bit.ly That way, we know your team and we get to know you. And send a picture too. How about taking a picture of you standing beside your screen with me? That'd be fun. Do a selfie with me. I'd like that, and I think Darren would too. We're coming up to round two, and it is Academy Award songs. Who knows their movie music? Oh, I know there's some favorite ones of mine that I like. I wonder if there are going to be questions about this. Oh, what Phil Collins song won the Academy Award from the movie Tarzan in 1999? Um, have you seen the one meme or one little gif or gif or little short video that's out there? of It's a Phil Collins song, um, In the Air Tonight. And it's this guy slamming cupboard side, cupboards to the beat of the drum. Very funny. Google Phil Collins kitchen cabinets and you'll have it. Trust me, I did. But it's really cool. He's just going, bah, 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 bah. yeah, it's very fun. People are lonely. <laughs> oh, Moon River won the Academy Award for Best Song in 1961 for what movie? Who? Hmm. Andy Williams sang Moon River. Oh, that's the version I remember the most. He had such a nice, smooth, and mellow voice. Who was in Moon River? Who was in that, that movie? The Jack Lemmon? Hmm, I think it was a Jack Lemmon movie. 1961. That was a long time ago. But people like watching old movies, so I'm sure you've seen it. And you know the song. Uh, who's, oh, question number three. Who sang the Academy Award winning song from the movie Top Gun? Huh? No, all you remember is Tom Cruise without a shirt on. In you don't remember any song from there, but trust me, there was an award-winning song from the movie Top Gun. <sighs> and they're making a not a remake, but they're they're doing a, a sequel of Top Gun, I believe. Um, yeah, that should be interesting. How does Tom Cruise stay such good looking at his age? I don't. Those Scientologists, they do something. They, they, I think they have some airtight chamber or something that they, they stick them in at night. I think that's what they do. But who, who sang that song? Oh, this should be close. You should remember this one. What 2019 movie biopic, biopic refeatured the award-winning song, I'm Gonna Love Me Again, which was written by the movie subject and his longtime lyricist. Say longtime lyricist five times real quick. So, a what 2019 movie biopic featured the award-winning song, I'm Gonna Love Me Again, which was written by the movie's subject and his longtime lyricist. I like that movie. I remember what it was. I know what that one was. I think you do, too. Just think about it. What movie last year about a, a longtime lyric, about a song singer and his longtime lyricist? There were some touching scenes in that. Yeah, it was very good. I liked it. Number five. What movie soundtrack and original song both won Academy Awards in 2009? The film included both English and Hindi languages. Hindi. There's a clue right there. Think about that. What movie would possibly have some Hindi in it? Hmm? Indiana Jones? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're laughing or you're groaning. Which one? <laughs> I just thought of that. Uh, number six, My Heart Will Go On from Titanic. Beat out, among others, what song by Leanne Rhymes from Con Air in 1997? Now, who would think that Con Air would even have a song, let alone Leanne Rhymes singing? But it was a favorite or famous song from Leanne Rhymes in 1997, but it lost out to My Heart Will Go On. No, 
Oh, yes. So sad. So sad. Oh, what song? This is number seven. What song won an Academy Award in 1993 for a Tom Hanks film with a similar movie title? The key word there is similar. Similar. I remember this movie. It's very sad. It was very sad. It was very potent. And, and Tom Hanks, you know, can he, he can do anything, can he? This proved that he had the chops as a serious actor. Yeah, did he win? I, he, I think he won an Academy Award for that movie. Yeah, I think so. That was question number seven. And soon we'll be going to number eight. What duet performed by the stars of the film, one an accomplished singer, the other known primarily as an actor, was the award-winning song of 2017. 2017, was it that long ago? <gasps> it's I know what song this is, uh, but it just uh, doesn't seem like it was that long ago. Of course, we've heard that song so many times. Think about it. You have. Um, so think about the song, 2017. One of them's a singer. One of them's an actor. Actor could be male or female. It's a non-gendered um, identifier. So that could be male or female. So which is which? Mm -hmm. So I don't want to give you too many clues, but that was 2017. What song was it? Hmm. I think you know what it is. Oh, number nine. In 2006, a Melissa Etheridge song from An Inconvenient Truth won the Academy Award, beating out three songs from what musical movie? Now, how in the hell could that happen? I mean... Melissa Etheridge is really good. I know that. But to beat out songs from a musical? What song did she sing? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know the name of the song. I, I do know the uh, musical. And I'll when we get the answers, I'll do a little song from there. But um, hmm. And rounding out this around, question number 10. In 1940, Pinocchio was released by Disney. Hmm. Was he in prison? <laughs> what song from that film won the Academy Award? Ooh, there's several nice songs from Pinocchio. If you think about it, oh, yes. Oh, yeah, that was such a nice one. 1940, how many years ago was that? 80 years ago? I don't remember the release. No, I don't. Um, but I remember, God, I was saw it probably 25 years later. <laughs> that, so that's the end of round two. Where did that go so fast? So get your answers together. Make sure you push send. You know, there's several times I've been playing this, and for some reason, my answers don't show up. So make sure you press send, and then it's accepted, okay? Don't blame Darren and the crew down there. It's not their fault. It's you. Trust me, I know. They wouldn't do something like that. They're, they're professionals. Let's go back to the answers from round one for the multiple miscellaneous. So what are the answers? What high-profile lawyer was defended? O.J. Simpson, Patty Hearst, and the Boston Strangler? F. Lee Bailey. I still want to know what the F stands for. What the F? What, who had, was the old fisherman in Ernest Hemingway's novel, The Old Man and Sea? Santiago. Does that make sense? It does to me now that I think about it. Santiago. Yeah, yeah. What city was captured during the Six-Day War? That was Jerusalem. I was going between Cairo and Jerusalem. I really wasn't sure. Uh, I don't know. Okay, and well, where was uh, the shootings and the fires just last week? Nova Scotia. That's a little too close to Beaver Pond, if you ask me. But, you know, people are a little worked up. You know, they don't have this to get to release their energy. So they should watch more trivia is what they should do. Who has not been a trainer on The Biggest Loser? Of, uh, uh, Maria Sharapova. I guess she's the one. She's the loser of this one. And what country was not a site of military conflict related to the Vietnam War? It was Thailand. Yes. Hmm. That's amazing that they didn't get involved. Oh, and what is the name of Johnny Quest's dog? I knew this one. It's Bandit. Cute little dog, black and white. Oh, yes. I'm going to have to rewatch Johnny Quest. What Englishman discovered Manhattan Island in New York City in 1609? Oh, it was Henry Hudson. Yeah, not Christ or Rockefeller. I bet you thought Ellis. I bet a few of you were thinking, hmm, could it be Ellis? Where did that name come from? But it was Henry Hudson. And who was the sexy man alive in 91 but was dead in 09? That was Patrick Swayze. Oh, he, he had the time of his life, I guess. But uh, no longer. What's your favorite Swayze movie? And it was the cats. The cats got the corona. 
Yes, that darn cat. <laughs> yes. I hope it stays with the cats and nothing else. So that was the answers to round one. All right. So get ready for round three. Oh, it's a tough one. Trust me. I, I saw a little preview of that and I didn't do so good. So you get your sharp eyes together because this one you can't really Google. It's because it's called Cool Cats. Cool Cats. Yes. So this round consists of visual clues. Each clue is an animated gif of a famous cat from either a movie or TV show. You have to name the cat, not the show, not the movie, but the cat itself, their selves. And this one is probably the only one I knew of the group. Yes, yes. Well, that's some sad looking lasagna, isn't it? <laughs> I think that's what that's supposed to be. <laughs> Got some green cheese on there. <laughs> I think that's cheese, but yes, who's that cat? That cool cat. Started off as a cartoon of, in the newspaper and then got animated. You know, isn't that how it goes? Mm. Ooh, isn't that a pretty lion? Mm. I wouldn't get that close, would you? I don't care. Ooh, pretty hair, though. Oh. It was a lion in Dakhtari. That's a TV show from a long time ago. Lion, Leo, Lewis, something like that. I have to remember that. But no, I don't know who this, I don't know this movie. But uh, it's a pretty lion. I wonder if that's a real lion or if they just superimposed it. Or maybe it's someone in a lion suit. I don't know, but pretty hair. I wonder who does the hair. Oh, there's a black cat slapping a blonde woman. Uh, I, I, I don't know who that is. I don't think I'd let that cat do that to me. It'd be empty on its own litter box, that's for sure. Let's see, I don't know. Ooh, slap, slap, slap. What the hands say to the face? Slap, yes. Paw, I guess it would be the paw to the face. Ooh, <laughs> that's scary. How would you like to wake, the, wake up to that in the morning? I don't think so. Meow, 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 meow. That's, that's not good at all. To trim its whiskers, there. I think, yeah. Of course, you know we all need to trim some whiskers every now and then. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Especially since we're in quarantine. Yes. Oh my. Ooh, pretty cat. Cute kitty. No, thank you. Oh, oh. Da, 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 da. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Ooh, that might have been the the uh, hint. Oh, it just made me want to sing a song, though. Well, let's. Uh, you know the song. You know the movie. Oh, do ya? Yes, I now do you know the names of the cats? That's it. You can sing the song, but you know the name of the cats. You gotta tell which one's which. Oops. <laughs> Ooh, and here's another one. Dance with the cat. I'm dancing with a cat. I'm lonely and I'm dancing with a cat. I don't know that one either. See, I'm, my team's probably happy I'm not playing with them tonight because I would be no help with this one. But that's great about uh, Catch the Mania because they'll, they'll throw in this whole whole thing that you just don't know anything about. Or you can't know everything, I guess. Oh, oh isn't, that, isn't that cute? Oh, you can just hear the, oh. Yeah, a little girl, red-headed girl and pink jammies. I don't know this one. No. Not a bit. Not a bit. You, which, what's the name of the cat? Remember, it's the name of the cat, not the movie, cartoon, or TV show, but name of the cat. That was number seven. Number eight, I did know this one. Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, yes. I uh, wonder if I can still know the, the jingle. That's, yes, I don't, not to show, but the name of the cat. This would probably be the one that everyone gets, I think. If I know it, everyone will know it. All right. Okay. Ooh, and furry. Ooh. Oh, I, I don't think I like that. Ooh, that's number nine. It's a, I don't know, fur ball. It's a, <laughs> I don't know exactly what that is. How did they train that cat to do that? It's amazing. I don't know. And fury. That's probably a hint there. 
If you know that, you not, might know the cat's name. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Oh, and you should know this one as well. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it? Oh, the tigers and the snakes should be friends. That's nice. Now, is that snake trying to talk his way out of that? But that was the end of round three. I'm glad. Get those cats out of here. I wonder which if any of those cats got the virus. I think there was a few of them that didn't look like it could. So that was the end of round three. Tally up your, your answers. Make sure you press send and get it um, committed there. All right. So now we're going back to the answers. Award, Academy Award winning songs. All right. If you'll be in my heart. That was a song from the Tarzan movie. Give me Johnny Weissmuller any day. Breakfast at Tiffany's. No, no, who was it in that movie? Was it Jack Lemmon? Hmm, I'm not sure, but I love that song, Moon River. Um, the Academy Award from Top Gun was Berlin. Take my breath away. Of course it was. Yes. Going so fast, it just takes your breath away. And the song was Rocket Man. Yes. Uh, that was the name of the movie. Wow, Elton John. A slumdog Millionaire. That was the Hindi languages one. Yes, you got that one. You figured that out. Yes. And the next one, How Do I Live? That was the Leanne Rhymes song. It, any other year, it probably would have won, but not against uh, My Heart Will Go On and Titanic. They took everything that year. Yes. Oh, Streets of Philadelphia. Yeah. Remember that? So sad movie. But it was, it was an important movie for its time. 1993. Oh, my gosh. Whew. Shallow. You know who it was. Lady Gaga. And... Mm -hmm. Mr. Handsome, yes it was, shallow, and I am telling you, it was Dreamgirls, that was the musical movie, yes, Dreamgirls, Eddie, Mur Eddie Murray was in, Murphy was in that, and when you wish upon a star, how many of you got that one, you all know the song, maybe you just didn't connect it with Pinocchio, well, that's all the answers for all the rounds, oh no, we got cool cats, oh, see I don't like cats, so let's go with cats. Okay. The answer is the cool cat. Well, Garfield, duh. That's still some bad looking lasagna. And that's Aslan. As Aslan. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't have kids, so I didn't watch these. And that's Salem. Oh, black cat, Salem. Oh, and that, yeah, okay. Now I know where that's from. Ooh, Mr. Bigglesworth. They, he's got the corona. He's got the corona. I know he does. Ooh, look at that. And Cy and Am. I am Siamese, if I please. Yes, you knew that one. And what's coming up? Mrs. Norris. That's the cat. Mrs. Norris getting a little dance there. Ooh, that's nice. And Oliver. It's Oliver. Oh, okay, now I know who it is. Okay. Sometimes it takes a... And Toonses, the cat. <laughs> yes, oh, Toonses. <laughs> Who'd let a cat drive? And Goose. Maybe that's why he was spitting that thing out. He got goosed. I don't know. Ooh. And then Shere Khan. Shere Khan. Shere Khan. Shere Khan. Shere Khan. Bum, 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 bum. That was number 10. So that's all the answers for this. So my job is done. So thank you very much. And uh, catch the trivia. Just had a great time. Happy to come back anytime. Because what else am I going to do during these days? All right? So have a nice evening. Catch my show, Amber LeMay, live on YouTube, House of LeMay, um, every Sunday. It's, it's a lot of fun. Just me talking with some friends and doing some songs and having some fun. So back to you, Darren. Have fun. All now. right. All right. Hey, it's always such a pleasure to have you on, Amber. So, so glad you, you joined us tonight. Thank you so much. Um, definitely make sure you check out Amber Live. If you want to have a, uh, some fun on a Sunday night, 8 o'clock, Amber Live. That's uh, on the YouTube channel, House of LeMay, or you just go to Amber LeMay's Facebook page. Um, thanks for joining us. Uh, it's Wednesday night. We may have a little pop-up trivia on Saturday. I'll announce that tomorrow on Facebook. But um, thanks, for, thanks for joining us, and thanks again to Amber LeMay. Uh, make sure you check out her show on uh, both YouTube and Facebook on her uh, Facebook channel. All right. Have a good night, folks. Cheers, everyone. Good night.